Okay, boys and girls, we are here Wednesday. We are reading this week, The Chihuahuan Desert. Um, such a great read, and it has such um, interesting information in it. And for Wednesday, we are rereading and answering questions one through three. So here we go. A desert is one kind of landform found in the United States and in other parts of the world. Deserts are dry places that get little rain. You can identify a desert by the kinds of plants that grow there. The Chihuahuan Desert spreads into Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. This desert includes Big Bend National Park in Texas and gets as little as 7 inches of rain a year. Many desert plants, such as cacti, have spines or narrow leaves that slow down water loss. Sharp thorns or spines protect these plants and the water they store from thirsty, hungry animals. The roots of mesquite shrubs grow deep into the ground to reach water. Uh, creosote, creosote bushes produce a poison so other plants don't grow near them and take their water. The javelina is the only native wild peccary in the United States. A peccary is a cousin to the pig. Javelinas live in the Chihuahuan Desert. If you visit Big Bend National Park, you may smell the javelinas before you see them. They have a gland on their backs that produces a strong smell. It's called musk and javelinas use it to mark their territories. These animals travel in groups of 6 to 12. They search for food in the mornings and evenings and avoid the midday heat by resting in the shade. They don't travel far from a watering hole. A javelina has coarse fur that is black and gray. It has a short mane that stands up on its back when it gets excited. Javelinas are tough animals. They can eat anything, even cactus. Okay, so remember Wednesday, read and answer questions one through three. So answer the questions. You may reread the passage to help you. Questions one through three. So question one, question two, and question three. Number one. What is true of a desert? A, a desert never gets rain. B, a desert gets very little rain. C, no plants can grow in a desert. Or D, javelinas are the only animals found in deserts. So what is true is the question. Number two, how do the spines of a cactus help it to survive in the desert? F. The spines store extra water. G, the spines help to collect water when it rains. H, the spines help to cool off in the heat. Or I, the spines protect the plants from animals in search of water. Number three, which word is most similar in meaning to the word territories as used below? So similar meaning the same which word it means the same as territories. Okay, so in the text, it says it's called musk and javelinas use it to mark their territories. So this word, what is similar? So what means the same as territories? Is it colony, fear, symbol, turf? Okay, so those are the three questions you are answering today. And then we're going to move on to math. Okay, as we have been doing for the entire week, you do not have to worry about estimating the product, but you must choose a method. Okay, but you do not have to worry about estimating the product. So here you're going to do 63 times 19. So 63 times 19, if you're using the box method, remember we have a two by two. So you're going to divide your box into fours. Okay. Um, I would suggest using the box method for these, especially since it's two by twos. Okay. So you guys are doing problems one through nine. And then let's read 10 and 11 to see if we can do these. A dime has a diameter of about 18 millimeters. So, nope, we're not going to do number 10. We have not talked about measurement yet. Uh, number 11, a half dollar has a diameter. So, nope, 
we are not going to talk or we are not going to do 11 because we have not talked about measurement. Diameter means a, a specific type of measurement. So you are going to be responsible for doing numbers 1 through 9. Okay? And that is it for Wednesday's homework.